Hello brothers and sisters in Christ. Just wanted to do a really, just a talk, a sit and talk. But um, I wanted to do an update real quick and at this point we're going to move on. Okay, we're going to move on. Might come back to it in the future if God shows us anything new, shows me anything new. Um, but yeah, I guess I some people just missed the whole point of that video I did about the title of the video was Can a Lost Person Say Jesus Christ Is Come in the Flesh? Okay. They keep attacking me all. I, I, I'm a Denlinger right and everything. And I just, you know, I'm uh, like, he, like Brian has a leash and I'm on the leash. And that's how bad it is that they're, they're attacking me. The whole point is, is I think Brian could have done the video a little bit better in this sense. He shouldn't have said, I challenge you to confess that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh. He should have challenged him to show evidence that the confession comes from the heart. They're not just lying. Okay? Confession comes from the heart. Now, you can say something that comes from the heart, but the Bible says, as I proved in that study, you can also lie. Confession always comes from the heart. Saying something doesn't always come from the heart. Okay? Out the bones of the heart, the mouth speaks. You can lie. And then eventually, your heart comes out. You can't hide it forever. It comes out. So I would have challenged them, okay, do you believe Jesus Christ is come in the flesh? If you do, I challenge you, denounce the Trinity. It teaches Jesus Christ has come in the flesh. You, you confess and believe that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh then I challenge you to denounce post and mid-trib that teaches Jesus Christ has come in the flesh. I challenge you to denounce that you can lose your salvation in this dispensation from the death of Jesus Christ to the catching away of the body of Christ. I challenge you to denounce that. Go to eternal security because losing your salvation teaches that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh. That should have been the challenge, brothers and sisters in Christ. The Bible version issue, I challenge you to get rid of all the Bible perversions and go to the King James Bible if you believe Jesus Christ is come in the flesh. And when you have these people that say it, they're not really confessing it, they're saying it, and you say, okay, then drop the Trinity. I ain't dropping the Trinity, I love the Trinity. God in three persons. God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. One in essence. What are they saying? They're actually confessing that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh. They're showing themselves for who they are. Liars. They're lying to you when they say Jesus Christ, they believe Jesus Christ is come in the flesh. I don't always, always agree with Brother Brian, okay? He should have challenged him in the sense that, uh, back it up. Prove it. Okay? Prove that you believe Jesus Christ is come in the flesh. Denounce the Trinity. The whole point was the two words there, say and confess. Confess always comes from the heart. Say sometimes can come from the heart, and sometimes it's lying, which is still kind of coming from the heart, but you're lying. So saying something can be truthful and can be a lie, but when you confess something, it's truth. Maybe that's the best way to say it. Saying something can both come from the heart, but saying something can be truth or it can be a lie. Confessing something is always truth coming from the heart. You can say the word confess and it be a lie because you're just saying it. If you're truly confessing, it comes from the heart. Prove it. That would be my challenge to them. Prove it. Denounce the Trinity. Oh, we love our pagan Trinity. We love our pagan Trinity. The true gospel. If you truly believe that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh, Denounce the false gospel that you follow, faith alone. You've earned salvation with your faith. Denounce it and go to the true biblical salvation where it's a gift. God's grace is a gift. You didn't earn it. You believe you have to work to earn God's salvation. Your good works have to obey you. Denounce that junk that teaches that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh and go to the true gospel of repentance towards God and faith in our Lord Jesus Christ. Confess comes from the heart, both in prayer, and ask God to save you. Reject that junk and go to the true gospel. Well, if they're lost, they're definitely not going to do that. Some have. Praise the Lord. 
But you see what I'm saying? That was the whole point of that video was to say that someone can say it and could be lying to you and deceiving you. I mean, we have people in Congress that are running for office and different things in our government that'll say one thing, oh yeah, yeah, I believe this, and yeah, yeah, I'm going to do this when I get into office, and then you vote them in, and guess what they do? They do a 180 and do other stuff and start saying other stuff. Right? And that's what's going on with, it's so evil and wicked the way our government is, and people don't see it. Those people should be kicked out of office if they don't do their best to do what they promised and stand for what they said they would stand for before they got in. Why are we holding these false converts, these false preachers and teachers, wolves in sheep's clothing, accountable the same way? Oh, he said, he got me, he drew me in because he said that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh. He said Jesus is the Lord, or just says Jesus is Lord, but Jesus is the Lord. He says it, and he drew me in. And then when I get in there, it's like, wait a second, you're teaching the Trinity. You're teaching you can lose your salvation. You're teaching post or mid trib. You're teaching a false gospel. You're using a Bible perversion. Wait a second, you just lied to me. The whole video was to warn you, brothers and sisters in Christ, about these people that will say it. Because remember, when you say something, it can be truth or it can be a lie. When you confess something, it comes from the heart. Both come from the heart, but when you confess something, it's absolute truth. You could confess something that you believe is truth, and you come later on down the road, you realize you were wrong, and you repent, and now your belief is in what's correct. Absolutely. But confession still comes from your heart, what you believe. And what you believe, you believe to be absolute truth. I've been corrected. I used to use Trinity terms thinking it's absolute truth. I had to repent, believe in the Godhead, reject um, the Trinity terms, and then confess that I believe the Godhead, that Jesus Christ is God fully and completely. Jesus Christ is God the Father. There's only one God, the Father. And I keep saying this, but that's how desperate these people are and how mentally ill they are. The Bible says there's only one God, the Father. You said Jesus isn't God, or isn't the Father, then you're saying Jesus isn't God. Anybody who's not mentally ill can catch on to that and say, wait a minute, he's got a good point. There is only one God the Father, 1 Corinthians 8, 6. There is only one God. If thou believest there is one God, thou doest well. The devils also believe and tremble. There is only one God. He's got a point. Anybody that has the Holy Spirit in and a love of the truth would look at that and go, something's not right with this Trinity. It's really confusing and it's false. It goes against the Bible. Anybody with the Holy Spirit and is not mentally ill would see that. And some people have. I have. I've, I've stopped using those Bible, um, those terms that aren't found in the Bible. Okay? I don't believe that God has a body, soul, spirit of his own. And Jesus, has, Jesus, I believe, has a body, soul, and spirit. And I don't believe the Holy Spirit has a body, soul, spirit of his own. But that's what three persons mean. To be a person, you have to have a body and soul, and you have to be living. It's always referred to someone who's living. A person is not used for someone who is dead. Okay? So, the whole point of that video was to say, say versus confess. And if I didn't do a good enough job, that's why I'm doing this video to, to say, hey, you can say something and it can be truth or a lie. When you confess something, you believe it to be truth in your heart. That's what confession is. Confession comes from the heart. Saying something also comes from the heart. And if you lie, it's showing how deceitful your heart is. Okay? But saying something can be truth or a lie. Confessing in your heart you believe it to be truth. So the challenge should have been, if you truly believe it in your heart that it's truth, denounce the Trinity. Prove it. Denounce the Trinity. They won't do it. Uh, some people have, praise the Lord, but for the most part they won't do it. Denounce all those false uh, doctrines that teach that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh. They won't do it. So I just wanted to throw that out there. Um, no, I'm not getting caught. I'm still, everything's just so screwed up. Notifications. I always want to keep apologizing, brother and sister, Christ, not like be a broken record, but to apologize because there's times that I find someone asking a question two weeks ago and I didn't know that comment was there because it's not letting me know. It's not telling me the comment's there. So I'm trying to go over the old videos sometimes and look at the comments. It's just, 
it's so nerve-wracking that I have to do that instead of being able to focus on getting work done around the house, around the yard, um, doing Bible studies and not worry, am I missing some kind of notification that a brother and sister in Christ, I could sometimes, excuse me, sometimes I could care less if I miss a comment from somebody attacking uh, Jesus Christ through this ministry. I really could care less. But um, I do care about my brothers and sisters in Christ. So I've opened a million feedbacks. They don't care. I've gone to the main page. I mean, they've got somebody. They have a whole group of people that are getting paid, and their number one and only job is to make sure the notifications are working. That's their only job. And they can't seem to do that. And I'm not the only one on there complaining, saying, hey, I'm not getting notifications, I'm not getting notifications. There's tons of people on there, and they're not doing their job. I've heard stories that, you know, YouTube is changing hands, someone might be buying out YouTube and whatnot, and the people that are owning it right now aren't taking it too seriously because once it switches hands, the other people can take care of the problems or something like that. But I just want you to know, I do love my brothers and sisters in Christ. I'm not ignoring you. I do. I do care about you, your feedback. Uh, your encouragement is always great, encouraging me in the ministry. It's nice to know when people make comments that people are actually watching the videos, that they get it, or they have questions, or even if they're correcting me on something I made a mistake, it helps me grow with the Lord and um, learn from the mistakes. So I had to throw that part out there again. Um, the other thing is, is um, brothers and sisters of Christ, this is the attitude you should have. Okay? I have lost people come on and sometimes they'll pose as saved. I mean, I'm serious. They'll pose. They'll just be asking questions. Oh, I, I'm grateful for your ministry, and, and everything's just, what you do is so great, and, and I really appreciate you, you know, answering the call and everything. And then they start talking. And, but you, you know what? The Trinity's truth, and you're, you're, you're teaching that God... I thought you just said that you, you believe God's working through me in this ministry, and it's great and everything. See, they'll pretend to be Christians... Uh, and that they agree with me, and then after you talk with them for a little bit, they believe the Trinity and reject the Godhead. They believe a false gospel. Those are the two biggest things. Uh, they attack the, um, the pre-time of Jacob's trouble, catch away the body of Christ. Um, then you got some people that come on and just flat out will attack you, brothers and sisters of Christ. They'll just flat out attack you from the get-go, and they'll throw some verses out with their first comment. I'll, I'll give them a chance. I'll throw a comment, sometimes I won't, <laughs> but sometimes I'll give them a chance. I'll throw out some verses and see what they, if they can deal with God's Word. They ignore those verses and just start throwing out other verses. They start calling me names. Uh, I'm a Denlinger right? I follow Brian Denlinger and all this stuff. And it's like, at that point, the Bible says you're not to cast pearls before swine. I just preach the gospel to them. I link the gospel message. Time is running out and I'm done with you. If you're false and you're watching this and you like attacking me, you like attacking Brian, you like attacking JT, but ultimately you like attacking God's Word. Okay, I'm just going to preach the gospel to you and you're done. And to my brothers and sisters in Christ, you need to have the same attitude. I get wrapped into it sometimes of all the argument and the debating. We're not supposed to. Debate is a sin. And God, arguing doesn't profit anything. Fellowship and discussing things, yes. So... That's all I wanted to do in this video, let you people know. So, uh, grace and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you and my love for you in Christ Jesus.